picture on the building so mm-hmm. you can go over there to the record store and you can get it from over there okay and um, I want you to know that I do have it because I am a fan right. okay um when did you start rapping um, and you know I, I have been doing music since I was a child okay so like, um, I've been going to church um, you know me and Sh- Shorty and I we have been going to churches um, we've been doing music like in our project at DJs and stuff like that mm-hmm. and dance school dances you know what I'm saying? So I've been doing music for a while. I also um, did a song on Money Wasters on um, Big L, which is how they, he plays the trumpet. Okay. Um, he dropped the CD like in 1998 or something like that. And you were a feature artist? Yes, and I was a feature artist on that. Okay, so um, what inspired you to be a rapper? What? Um, Nothing really inspired me. Um, I do poetry. I do different things. Um, you know, I'm blessed in like different areas or whatever. I have a lot of talents. I do so. Um, I have a lot of hidden talents, and this is a talent that I just had or whatever. So we just used to sing or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like rainy days when you know we can go outside, we'll be inside mm-hmm. making music and you know rapping and singing about just anything or whatever. So I just always had it in me. Okay, but you um you have a lot of talents, but you kind of tap more into the the rap part of it well basically um i was i wasn't i was never trying to pursue the rapping uh-huh. um what brought me out and um made me really try to pursue it more the death of um make noise shorty um we lost shorty december the 20 2010 mm-hmm. or whatever so um i don't know how i wind up in a studio but it's something that i know how to do and i just decided to carry on you know since she passed Okay, and um, a lot of people from New Orleans is familiar with Magnolia Shorty. Yes. And we're going to touch on that subject more after the commercial break. Kicking It With Kiwana is sponsored by Joe Black Income Tax, located at 3501 Holiday Drive in New Orleans. Give them a call at 368-7274, where you get the max back at Joe Black Tax. Joe Black Income Tax, located at 3501 Holiday Drive in New Orleans. Give them a call at 368-7274, where you get the max back at Joe Black Tax. And we are back. Okay, so Katie Black, um, a lot of people from the New Orleans area is um, a fan of Magnolia Shorty. Correct. I myself was definitely a fan. So, um, do you want to touch on a little bit about that, like, 
that was um that was your cousin right yes okay and she was um violently gunned down and, and killed so uh would you say that that kind of inspired you to um really want to get out there and, i mean did you want to continue her legacy is that what it was um <clears throat> basically um when i first came into it you know i decided like because i always used to tell her with the music I used to be like, I want you to move further, you know what I'm saying? I want you to move further and move out to different regions and do different things like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, like all the encouragement that I used to give her mm -hmm. and what I wanted her, the more I wanted her to be into it, that's what I'm going to strive for, you know what I'm saying? And try to strive to, towards success. The same success that I want her to reach, I'm going to try to go higher. Okay. And as I strive to go higher, I will always, in remembrance, I will always represent her. Mm -hmm. I will always pay homage to her mm -hmm. and I will always keep her name alive because yes, she you. is living through me. Yeah, and, and you guys sound alike. I don't right. know if people tell you that all the right. time. You guys sound just alike. Right. We act alike. <laughs> really? Then everything's so, you know, it's okay. just like, that's my other half. Yeah, and I mean, and I know that that had to be, you know, a tough situation because it was a loss for a lot of people. It was a loss not just for family, but for her friends. And, you know, because right. she's been in the game for, I think Quite I was about 15 when, when, you know, when she did her first, I don't know, with mm -hmm. Monkey on a Stick, which was, a, you know, a huge single. So, um, that kind of, so is there any other female rappers that you would say, you know, inspired you or that you kind of looked up to or? Um, locally or? Both. Both. Um, locally and nationally. Well, I come up on um, Miss T mm -hmm. and Cheeky Black, you know, mm -hmm. their music or whatever. Um, I really love the Miss T music and yeah. stuff like that or whatever. So, they you know, both were, I, um, they kind of rubbed off on me and touched on me as a kid. Um, but I love the fact that Brown. Okay. Whatever. I love her music or whatever her sound and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I like to listen to Miss Lil Kim, or yeah. whatever, but I really like the facts about Oh, okay. All right. So, um, another thing, um, the entertainment industry. What is your take on it? I mean, how would you, have they been? Um, would you say that it's a? It, I mean, that have you ran across anything that? you know, that would have kind of discouraged you from wanting to further your career? Because well, a lot of people say that the entertainment industry is a tough lot. industry. It is a tough industry. You have to be careful because it's just like the game. You have, you know, people um, that just really try to, you know, get you under their wings and try to, like, <laughs> use you up the most they can and stuff uh -huh. like that. So you have to be cautious, you know what I'm saying, who you put on your team or who team you get on, you know what I'm saying, the industry. So um, I be cautious for a lot of stuff like that. Um, I'm independent. I'm an independent artist, mm -hmm. and um, I will continue to be an um, independent artist. My brother um, have a label. It's called Top Back Music, and I'm gonna help him push that. And you know, we're gonna strive as a family together or whatever. And I also work with Sesso Five, as you know, mm -hmm. um, and other producers like Black and Mild, Flip Set Free. You know what I'm saying? So I'm working with them because when I first started, that's who you know I started out working with. So I'll continue working with them, you know, and making music and stuff like that. But you really have to be cautious. You know what I'm saying? It's just like any other game. Okay. Um, I would like for you to tell some of the, the people that's watching and some of the fans and younger generation that's trying to get into this game, some of the things to be leery of and, you know, and some of the things to just pay attention to. We will be back with more of Kitty Black after the commercial break. And we are back. Okay, um, Kitty Black, could you share some of the um, experiences that you have had? Um, I guess my question is, anyone that's trying to get into the game, uh -huh. what is the most important thing that you would tell them in order to, um, you know, in order to succeed? First of all, if you don't have a passion for it, if you just want to do it because everyone else is doing it, it's not for you. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a passion for it, and this is something that your heart, you know, really says, well, I want to be a rapper, this is what I want to do, and I'm going to put my all into it, or whatever, um, I suggest you, like I said already, you know what I'm saying, the people that you keep in your company, just like your mama said, you got to watch your company, or whatever, so, mm -hmm. um, like I was telling you, it's certain people probably be like, oh, they see something in you, just, 
for the growth of you or whatever would be beneficial for them. You need people around you that care for you know your well beings or whatever yeah. that's gonna help you succeed in order to get up. You know what I'm saying? Move up the charts and move up the ladder. Mm -hmm. Um, and you'll be able to tell eventually who is really trying to support you and help you and be beneficial to you mm -hmm. and connect you to the right connections. It's yeah. all about the right connections. Um, but. First of all, you have to start within yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to advertise yourself. You have to promote yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to work for yourself in order for someone else to put into you. Yeah. So once other people see that you're hard working and you selling your CDs or you're in a studio faithful, you making music, you making great sounds, you coming out, you connecting with different people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only way I can see you moving up the charts. Yeah, and but you, you know what? Um, I do agree with what you say. You definitely have to surround yourself with good people. And, you know, when you're new into this, this industry, you, you won't know feel, that. You have to feel that. Around. I mean, and you'll get burnt a couple of times, unfortunately, because, mm -hmm. I mean, I have. I'm pretty sure you have. And, you know, and it's just something that you'll have to deal with. But um, also, so now we know all about Katie Black, the artist. Um, and, you, you guys, I want you to know this. When I met this lady, um, she's one of the people that... Um, our very first time we met, you know, she offered me as much advice, as much help that she can possibly offer. She gave me, you know, contact information. I won't say, you know, exactly what kind, but I'm saying that to say a lot of people don't do that. They withhold information right. from you. It's like they're so scared that you pass them up. So I just wanted to let the people know that she was actually genuine. She didn't know me from Adam, and she offered me, you know, all of these things, and I definitely appreciate it and I respect it. Now, also, tell the people about... um this foundation that you have because that's um, a great thing. The foundation that I have is called Positive People for Our Youth. Mm -hmm. um, I basically reach out to the youth okay. and I connect with other people. Um, they have other resources and outlets for the youth um, like sports, um, dance classes, you know like donating different items and stuff you know mm -hmm. that's beneficial to the youth, going to the school, mentoring. Um, sponsoring, volunteering, doing different stuff like that. Um, I also cover like different topics. Um, Stop the violence. I have a group that's called Stomp the Violence. Okay. Um, stopping teenage pregnancy, peer pressure, um, okay. you know, self-esteem, bullying, HIV, AIDS awareness, different things that our youth need to know how to cope with and different things that's going on into the communities or whatever, you know, and that'd be beneficial to them. Okay. Um, but the purpose of me putting the Stomp the Violence um, program together is because I lost Shorty. And okay. that's that's a big, you know what I'm saying, that's a big hurt. And that's a pain that I don't think that I would ever get rid of. You know what I'm saying? As the yeah. days pass, it's like it get worse. Yeah. And um, on this Tuesday, December the 20th, we'll make a year yeah. or whatever. So I have a march I put together. It's called Stomp the Violence. Um, okay. It was supposed to be on that date. December the 20th, but I moved it to December the 31st. Okay. Um, we're going to march uptown. I have Heidi Brass Band. Um, I have Shaq Brown, Marching Squad, the girls, the boys, everybody coming out. Um, we have DSS coming out, my Magnolia family. Um, I have different social pleasure clubs, Lady Buck Jumpers. Okay. You know, different people that's coming out to support the movement. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a great thing. Um, if So you've already told them where they can get your... Um, your music from and also in order to be if someone wanted to donate or volunteer or sponsor your foundation could you tell them how to get in touch with you in order to do so you can tweet me on i am kitty black that's k-e-e-d-y-b-l-a-k-k -K. i am kitty black um you can also facebook me on kitty black k-e-e-d-y-b-l-a-c-k that's CK for Facebook and it's KK for Twitter. Okay. Um, you also can see um, the movie we have, um, Rag Dog Boutique, which she supplies all my clothing and everything like that. She sponsors okay. and she supports me, um, which is on 200 Broad Street, right off Cleveland, before you get to Canal. Okay. Um, you can come over there and donate. You can stop by. We have meetings over there on Mondays for 6 p.m. every other Monday. So, you know, if you want to, you can go by Cess 5, um, Nothing But Fire Records, which is on North Claiborne again. So, either way, okay. you can feel free and you can right, contact so me. Uh, if you guys would like to be a part of that, she just gave you all of the contact information. I really appreciate you doing the show. Thank and, of you. course, you know, don't be a stranger. Come back and kick right. it with Hawana. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you. Okay. And we are back. Okay, now we have um, Dorian, 
He's a filmmaker and actor, and um, he's here to promote the movie that he has out now. It's called Just Another Noir. I hope I said that right, because I've been butchering the word all day. So without further ado, we would like to bring on Dorian. Hi, Dorian. Welcome to the Chemical. Okay. All right, you see that? Just another... Just another noir. Just another noir. I've been messing the word up all day, guys. Um, written and directed by Dorian Dardor. AKA Bad Ninja 9, King of All Shaman Ninjas. Okay, you guys heard it here first, so I'm kicking it with Kiwana. Okay, so um, tell us a little bit about the it, It's out now, right? It's out now. On Amazon. Amazon.com. You could uh, go to my website, badninja9.com, and there's links and everything. Uh -huh. A little bit about me, pictures of the cast, all that. Okay. And the cast, all the cast websites are linked to their pictures and names and all that. So yeah, we got some good people in there. Okay, so Amazon.com and also BadNinja9.com. Okay, all right. Um, so tell us a little bit about this movie. What is it about? It's about justice. Uh huh. And uh, corruption, corruption and justice in New Orleans. Uh, There's no corruption in New Orleans. <laughs> Fuck <Okay>. Lucien. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So um. Now wait, are you starring in a movie or did you direct the movie or how, what did you do? I wrote, produced and directed this whole movie on my own. Okay. Uh, you know, like, like you and a lot of your other guests, I'm all independent, I'm all about doing it myself. It's like, you can't sit around and wait for anybody to just uh, do anything for you. You, you just really gotta can't. get out there. You have to get out there and do it. You gotta hustle it on your own. Okay. Uh, build a team. Uh, <laughs> so just uh, everything, you just get out there. I wrote it. This time last year, November, okay. October, I 